This video is a compilation of trips to my winter camp and checking on my trail cam. I hope you enjoy. I'm out at my camp again today. I told you guys I was going to bring out my grandfather's axe, and I did. It's the one on the right with the orange paracord. The one on the left is one I got from my father-in-law that I restored. And I just wanted to see how they look side by side. The one on the left is a three and a half pound axe. I believe my grandfather's probably was three and a half pounds, but you know, years of uh, filing and sharpening has made it a little bit shorter. You can see the difference in handle length. The one on the right with the yellow grip is uh, 32 inches. I'm only going to be bucking up a little bit of firewood today. Uh, my goal is to take this saw home along with that other axe. Gives us a good sharpen. I think that's all the firewood I'm going to cut and split for today. I have a lot of other work to do. That amount of wood right there would be what I'd burn on a typical winter's day in my stove. I've been hard at work stacking all my firewood I've been collecting up on some cribbing. This will help keep it dry during the summer. And I've also picked up all the dead branches from these trees I've cut down. It's a nice pile of kindling. I brought out some more tree seeds to plant. This one is called Western Larch. I collected in the fall along with jack pine and lodgepole pine. 
and in the fall I planted probably about a thousand seeds out here. I'm going to plant a few more today. These ones have been in my freezer since November 7th, 2016. Uh, in this area it's mainly spruce, poplar, and some birch. So these trees are really going to stand out once they start growing. I think it's important to give back what you take from the woods. You can see here, this is an old molehill. And the soil around here is very much like peat moss. It's very rich and light. I think it's a perfect place to plant some seeds. The creek's flowing pretty good. Normally during the fall this is just a little trickle. I brought out my pike pole thinking there might be some log jams but haven't seen anything yet. Just the odd chunk of ice coming down but not much. So I have my sled all packed up, my axe, crosscut saw, and a bag for collecting birch bark. I'm going to take these home, sharpen up the axe, reprofile it, and sharpen up the crosscut saw and bring it back in the fall. I found a nice little area here and have a quick fire and a bite to eat. My trail cam is reset. I set it up in a different location. See there's a game trail going up that way. And I'm all finished up for the day. I'm on my way home, I'm going to keep looking out for some deer antlers, any skulls. And when I come back here, maybe in a couple weeks once the water comes down, I will be looking for some rocks for my flint striker and probably doing some gold panning as well. Guys, beautiful day today, May the 15th. They're actually calling for some snow this morning, but I don't think it's going to happen. Just made it out to my trail cam. I'm going to see what's on that. My last trip out here, I left a tinder bag. So as I'm walking, I'm going to be collecting tinder, doing some gold panning. Always on the lookout for antlers, skulls, chaga.
Well, I'm having a good time gold panning. I love to get in that area over there, but this water is about four feet deep. It's not going to happen. Pretty good area. Sandy, rocky. I don't know if the camera's picking that up at all. Could be pyrite. Could be gold. Found this rock that appears to have gold in it. I did a bunch of panning around that rock to See if I can find anything else. Found two pieces of petrified wood, but uh, there's nothing too special about these, so I'm not going to keep them. So there's a nice big chunk of chaga right there. It's too bad it's on this dead birch tree. I can still use it for tinder. I'm just waiting for a nice bed of coals to cook my lunch on. Just gonna collect a little bit of this moss for home the backyard. I almost forgot I brought out some peppermint oil. I'm gonna sprinkle that around camp, keep the mice, animals away. I think that's it for this one. Uh, for me hiking season is over. I'll be back out here probably mid-September which is exactly four months away. Thanks for watching. <laughs>